Greetings, New Hope. I want to uh, wish you a happy new year and take just a, a moment to share with you another great hymn of our church. This one is entitled, Oh, For a Thousand Tongues, written by Charles Wesley, lyrics by Charles Wesley, and music by Carl G. Glaser. Uh, but first, a little history behind the hymn. John and Charles Wesley, while students at Oxford University, formed a religious, quote, holy club because of their dissatisfaction with the spiritual lethargy at the school. As a result of their methodical habits of living and studying, they were jokingly called Methodists by their fellow students. Upon graduation, these young brothers were sent to America by the Anglican Church to help stabilize the religious climate of the Georgia colonies and to evangelize the Indians. On board ship as they crossed the Atlantic, the Wesley brothers came into contact with a group of German Moravians, a small evangelical group long characterized by missionary concern and enthusiastic hymn singing. The spiritual depth of these believers soon became evident during a raging storm. The following account is taken from Wesley's journal, January 25, 1736. In the midst of the psalm, wherewith their service began, the sea broke over, split the main sail in pieces, covered the ship, and poured in between the decks. A terrible screaming began among the English. The Moravians looked up, and without intermission, calmly sang on. I asked one of them afterwards, were you not afraid? He answered, thank God, no. John Wesley was so impressed with these people that he eventually made a detailed study of the hymnal used in their home church in Herrenhut, Germany. Soon he introduced a number of English translations of these Moravian hymns into the Anglican services. Between 1737 and 1786, the Wesleys published between them 63 hymnals with many hymns of Moravian background. Following a short and unsuccessful ministry in America, the disillusioned Wesleys returned to England, where once again they came under the influence of a group of devout Moravian believers meeting in Aldersgate, London. In May 1738, both of these brothers had a spiritual heartwarming experience, realizing that though they had been zealous in the church's ministry, neither had ever personally accepted Christ as Savior, nor had known the joy of their religious faith as did their Moravian friends. I find this fascinating. From that time, the Wesley's ministry took on a new dimension and power. Both John and Charles were endued with, with a, a spirit of uh, determination, usually working 15 to 18 hours each day. It's estimated that they traveled a quarter of a million miles throughout Great Britain, mostly on horseback, while conducting more than 40,000 public services. Charles alone wrote no less than 6,500 hymn texts, with hardly a day or an experience passing without it being crystallized into verse. O for a Thousand Tongues was written in 1749 on the occasion of Charles's 11th anniversary of his own Aldersgate conversion experience. It is thought to have been inspired by a chance remark by Peter Bowler, an influential Moravian leader. He exclaimed, had I a thousand tongues, I would praise Christ Jesus with all of them. The hymn originally had 19 stanzas and when published was entitled, for the anniversary day of one's conversion. Most of the verses, no longer used, dealt in a very personal way with Wesley's own conversion experience. For example, he writes, I felt my Lord's atoning blood close to my soul applied. Me, me he loved, the Son of God, for me, for me he died. Charles Wesley died on March 29, 1788, Having spent over 50 years in the service of the Lord he loved so intimately and served so effectively, even as he lay on his deathbed. It is said that he dictated a final hymn of praise to his wife. 
Other hymns by Charles Wesley include Christ the Lord is risen today, Jesus lover of my soul, a charge to keep I have, depth of mercy, and hark the herald angels sing. As we launch into the year 2021, my prayer for you is that each moment of each day you recognize God's hand in your life, that you are blessed beyond measure, and for that reason you would respond and simply praise the Lord. Should you have a thousand tongues, my hope is that you would use each one to praise his name. We don't. We have simply one. So let's take advantage of the tongue that we have to communicate our love and gratitude and uh, adoration for Christ Jesus. Oh, for a thousand tongues. Master and my God, assist me. 